So, not sure how to list on eBay? Watch this video, we'll walk you through our step-by-step -step process on how to do so. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. Welcome to another Thrift Union video. My name's Kevin. Today, we're gonna go over how to list items on eBay. We've got a couple requests on the uh, socials to walk through the steps on how we list on eBay. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, and of course, if you're new here, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification notification icon to let you know when we have some new content uploaded. In addition, uh, check out some of the stuff uh, that we use on a daily basis to help us out selling on eBay. Uh, so again, what we're going to do today, we're just going to go over how we list on eBay and what we're going to use as the example is this polo Ralph Lauren button front shirt. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, uh, so when we get the items home, the first step in our particular process when listing is we go ahead and we do the measurements and then we do the photos uh, or set up here behind me. Uh, so let's go through our process. Uh, I'll show you how we do our measurements and then we'll walk you through uh, the photos that we take uh, for our listings. Uh, so let's go. All right, so when it comes to the measurement of the shirt, uh, what we do first is we do uh, the chest. So that measurement, we do a pit to pit. Uh, so you just want to go through, and what we use is just a standard, uh, I don't know what they're called, seamstress tape, measuring tape, who knows. Uh, pick these up at the dollar store. Uh, they're about a dollar for a pack. I think you get two. Uh, so you just want to go from the pit across to the other pit. So these particular, uh, so this particular measurement on this shirt is 22 chest. And then what we want to do is we also provide the length. And what we do is we go from the bottom of the back collar. So we have, I lay the shirt down uh, face up. Then we go from the bottom of the back collar and we measure it all the way down to the bottom. And that is our length measurement. So let me just flip this around here quickly. Sorry for the jiggly table. All right, so from the back collar down to the bottom and we got a 30 length. Uh, so this particular shirt is a 22 by 30 and tag size large. So once we have those measurements, what we use, um, is a dry erase board. Um, so what we do is we put our measurements, uh, so we indicate the tag size here, then we'll put the chest measurement second, and then we'll have the length uh, as well. And then what we'll do is we'll put these same measurements in the uh, details of the uh, listing as well. And then we take a picture of this. Uh, so we'll show you that as well once we go through uh, picture taking. All right, so when it comes to pictures, uh, we generally want to take a minimum of four pictures in our listings. Um, when it comes to shirts, essentially you want to do the front, the back, the uh, tag picture. In addition, we also take some sort of a uh, photo that would show some sort of detail about the shirt and then of course we put our measurement photo at the end as well. Uh, so let's uh, walk you through how we take the photos, uh, so check this out. So that's it for the photos and measurements. Um, so if you did notice, we do use our cell phone to take the photos. We just find it a little more efficient uh, when it comes to the listing process. And of course, our cell phones today take uh, excellent pictures. So that's it for that. Uh, so let's jump over to the computer and we'll walk you through uh, listing the item. All right, so now that we've got the measurements and the photos, uh, what we wanna do is jump on into your eBay account and then we just wanna try and find a similar item. 
Uh, so when we're doing it, we're just going to do a quick, uh, just keep a little generic just so we can get a, a good range of what uh, is out there. So we're going to do Ralph Loren. And then we're going to do uh, the gender. So we're going to do men's. Then we'll do the pattern. We're just going to do plaid shirt. And we'll search. Actually, what we'll do is we'll throw the color in there as well. So men's yellow plaid shirt. So once we have those results done, we what we want to do, uh, we just want to go over to check off the sold. And this will show us what has sold. And then also what we like to do um, is we generally, because we charge shipping, we always search by price plus shipping highest first. Uh, so this will give us a rough idea of um, the higher end, uh, what some of the items are going for. Uh, so then you just want to take a quick scroll through and look for a shirt that's similar. So we'll just go through here. Now, we're probably not going to find an exact match to the one we have, um, as it is a little unique um, with those arrows embroidered on it and uh, the double collar or double button on the collar. Actually, I've never seen that. Uh, so we'll just give a quick scroll through here to see if we find anything that is similar. Um, so as you can see, the prices, um, they range anywhere from 100 uh, to, as you can see, uh, 30s. And of course, as we go down here, now this one is, pattern is similar, um, but it doesn't appear to have those arrow embroidered arrows on them or chevrons or I'm not too sure what that pattern is called. So we'll just go through and we'll check one more page. Uh, you just want to scroll through this as quick as you can just to try and find one that is similar. You don't want to waste too much time. Uh, as you can see, you'll get a general idea of what uh, the style of shirt is selling for. Um, and then you can base your pricing off that. And if there is, if it is a little more unique, um, you can, you know, tend to ask a little more uh, for that particular shirt because it could be rare. Uh, so in this particular case, they seem to sell, um, we're going to keep ours in the mid to high 30s, it looks like. So I'm just going to go back to that one that was had the similar pattern. Um, oops, too far there. Let's go back to page one. And we're going to find that one that had the similar pattern. color style as well. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. So what we want to do is we want to click on sell one like this, sign in if it prompts you to. Also, if it, if it says sell one like this, the other option you will see will be sell similar. Now, uh, the title on this one, um, we don't really like too much as they are using all capitals. You want to use uh, lowercase with the exception of the beginning letter of each word. Uh, so what we're going to do, um, even though this title was obviously uh, good to sell this item, um, using our best practices, we're actually just going to uh, start fresh with our own. So the way we word them, we start with the brand, uh, then we do gender, then we do size, color, and then other descriptive words. Uh, so this one, we're going to do Ralph, Loren, men's, size, large and we'll do color uh, the main color on this one we're looking at it is is yellow for the most part I mean that's the first color that stands out to me anyway obviously it is multicolored um, so then we're gonna do plaid and we'll do shirt and some additional descriptive words you can do long sleeve now, because I don't know what that particular pattern is, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not too sure how to do, uh, describe it. Um, so this is where the uh, photos will come in uh, key to make sure you did take a good photo of the embellishments uh, so the, the buyers can see that. Um, so that's our basic title that we would put for our item. So again, we got the brand, we have the gender, we have the size, we have the color, and then we have the descriptive words of uh, more specific of what the item is. Uh, so in the custom SKU, this is where we put our cost, this particular item. 
Um, the regular price on this was ridiculous, so it was twelve ninety nine at Tilly's. Um, so they do generally look a lot of the stuff up at Tilly's. So it is one of the more expensive thrift stores we have, especially when it comes to the the brand name, so to speak. Uh, but we picked this up on a half price day, so thirteen dollars. So we paid uh, six fifty. So what we do is we put um, our cost in the custom SKU. So six dollars and fifty cents. And then what we'll do in addition to that, we will also put the item location. Uh, so for us, we put our shirts in uh, plastic zip bags that we pick up from Dollarama, and then we store them in bins. Um, so in this particular case, uh, just for illustration purposes, you're gonna see the cost, and then our bins are generally gonna be uh, numbered by beginning with a letter, so in this case, uh, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to use bin A, and then it followed by a number. So we have A01, A02, A03. Uh, so we're just going to put uh, bin A01. So this lets us know how much we paid, and then when it sells, uh, what bin the item is in. So next we jump down to store category. So we have um, each category entered, of course, into our store. And that's key if right off if you don't have a store 100 percent get one um you know it's it's minimal cost selling you should be covering that cost anyway um and it is motivation to make sure that you are um, keeping an eye on your store and selling uh, so you are covering that cost um, so what we do is we choose the category so this is a men's casual shirt this one no UPC condition, do pre-owned. And this is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do excellent pre-owned condition. Well, helps if you can spell. And we just put C fix. All right. There's the photo. So now what we want to do is you want to come down and choose your um, item specifics. Uh, so it's really important when you're choosing your item specifics uh, because most people are purchasing on mobile these days and this is what they're really looking at. So we got the brand, of course, button front. And if you're not too familiar with uh, the difference, um, you may hear button front, button up, button down. Uh, a button down, of course, is if the collar has buttons that buttons down to the shirt um, so that would be a button down shirt in this particular case it's just a button front because there is no buttons on the collar so this was a regular size large long sleeve material it was 100 percent cotton color we'll do yellow featured graphics um, we'll put plot in there oh i just got to go back up and double check the category that eBay that this person was selling in as well making sure it's correct yes pattern you know do plaids and checks and then what we do is we add uh, the measurements so we're gonna do chest Twenty-four. Save. Add another one. Do length. Let's get the cat locks off. So Thirty. And then we put the. Just so it's clear, we put tag size as well. large all right so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna go 3688 on this one uh, so your price ender uh, what you want to recommend or what we do suggest um, so you do rank better when people are sorting uh, from lowest to high um, you don't want to use the standard 99 
you want to use some, some something that is a little unique and uh, lower when it comes to the sense, of course. Uh, so we've chosen 88. Uh, so, you know, you, you may see just random numbers at the end if the item's not on sale. And that's just sellers um, making that attempt to make sure they are ranking higher when it comes to sorting uh, from uh, low to high. Um, so put your price in there. Want to go down? We enable best offer on everything. This is where you can choose um, if you want to automatically accept offers or automatically decline offers. You can put in the specific amount, specific amounts. Uh, we don't choose that. We reply to every single offer that we get. Uh, we don't want any auto declines or auto accepts. Um, I guess technically you could do an auto accept of what um, the highest amount or what you would be willing to accept, just so it does get accepted. Um, and when you do get offers, we do recommend that you reply to them as soon as you can. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you are catching that buyer when they still are in the uh, purchasing mood, so to speak. Uh, so you put in your quantity, private listing, uh, we don't use. Uh, PayPal, uh, you want to make sure is selected. And then, of course, make sure you have selected require immediate payment uh, with buy it now. Uh, return options, we offer a 30-day free returns uh, for both domestic and international. Um, sales tax, excuse me, sales tax, we don't uh, deal with at the moment. And then when it comes to shipping, uh, we offer two methods uh, for Canada Post. Uh, we ship everything via Canada Post. We do economy shipping at $10.99. We do flat rate shipping. Um, it generally does cost more than what we charge, so we do build a bit of buffer into the cost of our item as well, the price that we put for our item. Uh, so our basic cost, we put $10.99 uh, for shirts, and then expedited, we do $12.99. Then, of course, we offer free uh, local pickup, and we do an additional $2 discount if you do purchase multiple items, and we will combine shipping as well uh, when asked. And then we do the same price as the economy shipping to the U.S., uh, for economy shipping, uh, that is basically standard mail. If we can get the shirt squeezed down to uh, uh, no more than, I think it's 22 millimeters or 20 millimeters, uh, just has to be that thin. Uh, Canada Post has this guide that they whip out when you're there. Um, they squeeze your package through as long as it fits through there. Um, you can send it uh, regular post, regular letter mail. Uh, essentially, it's the cost of, of stamps. So to speak there's no tracking so you do run that risk uh, but generally the cost that you're picking these items up uh, should be minimal uh, and most buyers do understand if things get lost in the mail as long as you're clear and uh, communicate with them uh, to make sure they know what's going on uh, never had an issue um, um, knock on wood um, with sending things in that manner without tracking and then we do the same thing. Uh, we want to apply the uh, flat rate shipping rule uh, to the um, US shipments as well. Uh, so those are the basic options for setting up your listing. Uh, so we're just going to go back here. So for item description, uh, what we do, quickly go back to eBay. All right, and then what we do, I'm just gonna pick up one of our items that we've listed previously. Um, so we have a generic uh, description that we use on all of our listings. So uh, feel free to um, check it out and copy and paste that if you so choose. Uh, helps if I actually copy and paste it. So we'll paste that in there. Of course, again, it just explains. Uh, we just want to indicate that we're 100% Canadian seller. Check out our feedback, fast professional shipping. And then it just gives a brief explanation um, to check the sizing and the photos. And then if it doesn't fit, just explains our uh, return policy. Um, so once you do that, uh, for SEO purposes, uh, you want to make sure that you're, so you want to copy your title. And then you want to copy that into your description as well.
Oops. So get any of anything extra in there. So there we go. Copy that into the SEO. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to get our photos into the ad. Um, so as we mentioned before, uh, we use our phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a draft. So jump down here, save as draft. All right. So once that's saved, uh, what we're going to do is we're now going to jump over to our phone. All right, so once you have your uh, phone loaded up, you want to open the eBay app and you want to go to your uh, selling section, then you want to basically open the draft. Uh, so once you have the draft open, I want to go to photos, and we're using a Android, so if you're on an iPhone, like, uh, it's going to be different, of course. So what we want to do, once we have it open, just want to go to our photos, select them, and we're going to do the size, open it up, wait for those items to load, all right, and then once they're loaded up, um, you're simply going to go um, back, just got one more here. Perfect. So they're all loaded. You want to go to back, scroll down to the bottom, click on save for later. That saved the draft. And then jump back onto the computer, click on complete draft. And voila, photos are there. Uh, so what we want to do is we just want to organize them quickly. Uh, so we organize uh, the way we display our photos. Of course, we have the main one, which is going to be the front. Second photo is going to be the back. Third will be showing any um, embellishments or unique features. So in this case, we got the double button collar. Uh, we also got the um, picture of the graphic on there. And then, of course, we got our size. And then we got our photo board with the size on there as well. Uh, this makes it really easy. Uh, so there's a photo. So when people on their mobile are just quickly scrolling through the photos, they'll get a a, a good quick snapshot of uh, the size and measurements of the shirt, uh, which is really helpful. Uh, does uh, help save on returns and things of that nature because you've clearly um, shown tag size and measurements. And of course, you've also included them in the item specifics. Uh, so once that's done, uh, you just want to give your uh, item listing another quick look over make sure everything is correct again just take a quick look at your title uh, this title is, is pretty basic um, you definitely want to use uh, some more descriptive words this particular shirt um, because it is a little more unique i don't know um, if people are really going to be you know searching double button or embroidered arrows um, those are keywords that you could put in there because it does describe the shirt um, and obviously you do want to fill in as much as you can using all the characters. Again, uh, you don't want to do too much keyword stuffing. Uh, you want to make sure everything that you're putting in there is specific to your item. Uh, so once you have that filled in, again, just to go over it, our titles, you want to make sure we start with, and these are just best practices, you want to start with the brand, gender, size, color, and then you can go with descriptive words about the item. Again, custom label, we put in the price and then the item location, or our cost, sorry. Uh, UPC in this case, because it's a pre-owned item, we don't really include it. Condition pre-owned, a brief little description, uh, which is just let you know it's in excellent condition and then see the pics for additional uh, description. Make sure everything is filled in. Include any item specifics. Again, addition to what is there by default, we include uh, the measurements once again, so chest length, and then the tag size. 
Uh, so fill in, uh, we'll check that off since it is embroidered. Make sure your, your title um, is included in your description as well for SEO purposes. Make sure your cost is set. PayPal immediate payment. Once again, 30 days free shipping on both domestic and international. Make sure the price of the shipping is correct. Once you're done, list item. And that's it. So pretty straightforward. All right, uh, so that's pretty much it. How we list on eBay in a nutshell. I uh, do let you know I did have to go back and make a couple updates. I completely forgot uh, to put Polo um, in the title, very important. So Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, so I made that correction. In addition, when I was doing the measurements, um, it was measured at 24, but for some reason I said 22. Um, so we did make that correction as well. Um, other than that, uh, listing is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not too difficult. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Any comments as well. Uh, we get back to everyone who does uh, leave a comment or question. Uh, we're definitely uh, glad to help. And of course, if you like the content, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And again, uh, check out the uh, links down below on some items that help us out uh, selling on eBay on a daily basis. Other than that, thanks for stopping in. Take care. Have a good one.